All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Sobey. Um, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, definitely a weird video today. Um, first and foremost, if you can see this right here, this is my camera. I normally film the videos on this camera right here, but I just got off the ice and it's like foggy internally on my lens. So I don't know how long that's gonna take to kind of thaw out or whatever, but um, I'm just gonna kind of start this video right here with my phone. I don't know if a lot of it's gonna be filmed with the phone or if this camera will kind of figure its way out. Either way, um, judging by the title, which you've already read, uh, this is this is a weird story. Um, it's It starts not with me, but with one of my best buddies, Ryan Pincala. Um, he's taught me a lot about fishing. He's taught me a lot about musky fishing. He is one of the best cooks I know, especially for wild game. And he's an all around just hardcore angler and outdoorsman in general. He's, he's a great hunter as well. But um, the story really starts with him. And uh, I think I'll let him tell that. But I promise you this story is gonna start out horrible. And hopefully by the end of this video, uh, things will be much better. That's, that's kind of the goal. So um, just, just a quick recap before we actually go talk to Ryan. Uh, like a week ago, Ryan's truck was stolen right out from the middle of his driveway. And that's where I'm sitting right now. I'm right out front of his driveway. And inside his truck was like all his fishing belongings, especially for ice fishing, like all his rods, all his reels. Uh, he does some filming, he has a YouTube channel, so his camera was stolen, his laptop was stolen. Everything inside of his truck, um, every piece of gear, his boots, his bibs, everything gone. And uh, that was horrible and traumatic. And he's like me, he's a young guy. So all his fishing stuff, everything he owns, he's acquired over, you know, 10 plus years of fishing. It's not like he just went out and bought everything he knew this year. He had old memorable rods in there. And I, I can't even tell you what he had on his laptop. Either way, it was just, it made me really mad. Like really 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 freaking mad and this was at like six o'clock at night right out in front of his house so it's not like it was at 2 a.m downtown in the city um but yeah when i heard this news that he got all his fishing stuff stolen and his whole entire truck i was i was pissed off i was really mad and um so yeah this is this is kind of myself and a bunch of other contributors involved our effort into getting Ryan back on his feet fishing wise. And Ryan doesn't know this yet. That's the cool part. I just called him like 30 minutes ago and I said, hey dude, I've got your one rod. He ordered a rod from Elliott Rods. It's, it's a cool rod, it's a Paragon. And um, when I was in Bemidji, I picked it up for him so he didn't have to like pay shipping costs. Uh, so I just said, hey, can I swing by your house and drop this off at your house? And um, maybe I can film you telling your story about how your truck got stolen. And he's like, yeah, dude, whatever. But he has no idea um, kind of what we're about to do and, and what we're about to give him. So yeah, let's go talk to Ryan. Let's get his full rundown on exactly what happened. And then, um, yeah, let's, let's give him a bunch of goodies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome Ryan Pinkall. If you've never seen him on the channel before, He's an absolute beauty. Ryan, oh, how are you doing? Dude, I'm doing so good right now. <laughs> You're doing so good. <laughs> so good. All right, first and foremost, here is your Paragon. Thank you so much, dude. This is yeah, sick. That's from Brent and the dudes. Dope. But really quick, I, I want to film this with my camera. Okay. But uh, we only have the iPhone right now because my camera's <laughs> being weird. Give me a rundown on kind of what went down. Oh, my gosh. Like a week ago. <laughs> Okay, so this was like right, like a couple days before Christmas. All right, I'm gonna pause you really quick. First off, this is his home right here. This is this is where he lives, and yeah. uh, that's that's the setting. Yeah, the setting. So for we're like stuff. in my driveway, and uh, I was just hanging out with some other buddies. We were just chilling, doing some stuff, and uh, came home, and uh, went to bed. Next day, hung around the house, decided I was gonna like make dinner in the evening, and uh, went out to my truck to grab some stuff because I was actually cooking over at Bart's house. And uh, came back in the house, messed with that a little bit, went outside to get something else, and my truck's gone. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, not just like, like, not like, oh, hey, there's some dude messing with my truck. Yeah. It's like the whole... Yeah, so it's like 6.30 in the evening, and uh, I was like, 
a little pissed. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, I went back in the house and like checked around. I was like, definitely gone. Like, <laughs> was he right here? There had to have been some sense of denial. Like, I don't, Dude, I don't there like was someone so much I was wrong. like standing in the middle of the street for like 30 seconds. Just like, well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was pissed. So I like called the cops right away and everything. And turns out there's been like a bunch of like auto thefts recently in our area yeah. and whatever. So crazy. Uh, so yeah, the truck was gone. I was really pissed. Uh, luckily I was able to borrow a, a car from like, you know, my dad or whatever. So I could still get to work and stuff for the next couple of yeah. days. And, uh, I got a call from the cops like a couple of days later that they found my truck in like North Minneapolis in some That's like crazy. sketchy neighborhood. And it like the license plates were gone. Like at all the gear I had in there, I had like tons of fishing stuff, cooking stuff, some hunting gear from a trip. I literally just got back from. And, uh, so that was all gone. And like pretty much everything that wasn't bolted to the truck was gone. <laughs> and, uh, crazy. yeah, so that totally sucked. And, uh, we went to the impound lot. We had to like pay to get it out and everything totally sucked. Um, but yeah, so not an awesome way to end the year, but looking to make this year a little better honestly yeah. <laughs> what did you all have in your truck oh man i had like quite a bit of ice fishing stuff tons of cooking stuff like i don't know a huge list there was like we had to make like an itemized list you know it was like ten thousand dollars worth of stuff it was just ridiculous so it sucked because it was like all my camera stuff like my computer's hard drive so like all my videos photos everything is gone that's it's the worst that's, that's the probably worst. the worst part dude because the rest of it like i get it it's just stuff you know yeah the memory stuff is what sucks probably the most just because it's like you can't really get that back i mean obviously i remember the stuff i still have you know stuff i post on instagram or stuff that was on my phone but yeah like those hard drives that's like just so many years of stuff that you save up you know and and whatever i mean i normally don't leave that stuff in my truck anyway but it was like literally in my driveway at six o'clock at night yeah like it's... you know like i would have grabbed my computer bag and stuff most of the time and just thrown it in the house but i was literally like cooking dinner at my own house so crazy whoever did this um we hate you <laughs> that's horrible um people that steal in general those people really suck but uh people that steal cars and then obviously either sell or pawn off everything else in the inside like you you're the worst kind of people so um i came here tonight to drop off one of ryan's rods but we've got a lot more in store so come over the truck come over the truck first and foremost don't mind the mess we called up the dudes at elliot shut up dude and we said hey is there any rods you could potentially spare to help my brother get back on his feet dude and we got some more rods so open them up let's see right. let's huge shout out to elliot's rods i'm gonna link them down below these guys are amazing minnesota based company it's paul and greg thorne they started this and um they make amazing stuff and that's the rods ryan ran before so this isn't a million rods here but anything Jeez, helps dude yeah i think one of them dude, one of them's a green much, back man. for for lake trout one of them is a walleye rod, and I think one of them is a panfish rod. Dude, unbelievable. Thank you, dude. Yes. No, Thanks. not not me. Not me, dude. Thank Elliot dude, Rods. Thank you guys so much. That's yeah. unbelievable. Heck yeah. Well, <laughs> that'll help with the rods. But as far as what you wear, the amazing folks at Clam, I told your story to as well. Dude, come on now. And they're like, hey, how can we help? So Clam helped out a bunch. Let's go open that up inside the garage. All right. I tried to order the sizes that I thought would work the best. Boom. Dude. Get you some decal. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. A brand new Ascent suit with float motion technology. Dude, I can't think Jacket, you guys enough. bibs. That's unbelievable. Try these on. Dude, I don't know if these are your exact size. These are like one of my favorite things I own is the clam boots. Check it out. Did your boots get stolen too? They did. Like so much stuff, stuff you don't normally think of. Like literally you're thinking about all the stuff in there and like the next day I'm like looking to put my boots on. Gone. <laughs> like, God. Don't you ever wonder like who's got them now? Like who, Seriously. Who like, has who has like, your old your, ice fishing your bibs? coat and stuff or like whatever. Gloves. Like all of it. Yeah. You're just like, I don't know. Yeah. Like I hope they like them. I don't know. <laughs> Do those fit or Dude, you need unreal. a bigger size? They're perfect. Really? Yes. All right. We can loosen them here. I filmed my whole first video. 
when I first got my vibs with this yeah, with this hanger in the back <laughs> <laughs> on the Red Lake video if you go back and watch. All right. So now we've got boots covered, we've got bibs covered, we got jackets covered, we got a couple rods covered. But I was thinking he doesn't he doesn't have any tackle like or reels or line or odds and ends that he's acquired over so many years of being a, a passionate outdoorsman. So I called my buddies up at Shields and the people at Shields are amazing. I told them about Ryan. I said, one of my best friends, he got all his stuff jacked. And is there anything you can do to help? So Shields has donated a fat, fat gift card to my boy, Ryan. And they're Dude. still open till nine. Oh my God. Should we go? <laughs> Shopping spree? We might as well. Shopping spree is Shields, baby. <laughs> All right, Shields, we're coming to you. Eden Prairie Store, thank you for the gift card, Shields. Oh my God. Thank you for helping out so much, Clam, and thank you for helping out so much, Elliot Rods. And Ryan, thank you for being a good dude. Dude, I just want to say this. Okay, if you guys obviously watch Sam's videos all the time, and uh, he always... He always says how he's got the best friends in the world, but honestly, he's one of my best friends in the entire world. And this goes to show, this is unbelievable. Like, I don't even know what to say, dude. <laughs> Let's go to Shields. <laughs> I am locking this. It's a go. <laughs> Alrighty, good news. The camera is defogged and we will bring the camera in there. I mean, obviously you know what's gone, but what are you gonna get? Oh my gosh, dude. What do you need the most? Probably tackle? I think we need to get some tackle for sure. Yeah. That would be dope. Um, I don't know, man. This is all happening so fast. There's a, there's a giant fish tank right when you walk in. <laughs> this place is nuts, dude. So I've seen this in other Shield stores, but they have a giant Ferris wheel here. It's closed now, probably due to COVID, but what sporting goods store has a freaking Ferris wheel? <laughs> it's awesome. All right, where do we go? Seasonings? Maybe you just want to get a grill. Dude, <laughs> screw fishing. Let's just get a grill. Forget about it. Look at this. Beautiful deer and some pheasants. Can you imagine, dude? What is this? I need this in my house. It's a Rapala grab and win. Oh my God. All right, I got us a cart. All right, sweet. Take it away. Actually, no, you, I'll follow you. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Some nice pinhead jig moves. Some flutter spoons. Let's go. Gone too far yet. I believe That's it, dude. Awesome. It's a big clam wall. Yeah, it's a pretty big clam wall. We <laughs> sell an awful lot of stuff. And honestly, clam has been all the partners that we have. All right. That's on the agenda. So, so far, we've grabbed some like clam, uh, some flutter spoons, some jigs, some stuff like that. I just threw in one uh, meat stick combo. Nice. Pretty sweet little panfish rod. Um, I think we're going to scope out a couple more rods and then look for a few reels and then just keep loading up on tackle. This looks like some lake trout action here. Oh. Are you going laker fishing? It might be happening. Okay. All right, little card update. What do we got here? All right, dude, we got like a sick amount of tackle right now. Like, <laughs> All kinds of spoons, little jigging baits, hooks, plastics, some lines, some all different little accessories. We got some rods, some reels. We're loading up, I'm not gonna lie. Look at these two. This is one thing I recommended to Ryan, and I'm like, you cannot live without yeah, a good so pair of gloves. We're locking down on some gloves. The renegade gloves are so nice. Snowmobiling, four wheeling. Right, not dude. getting cold in. Nah. <laughs> nah. Are you going over the spices? Dude, I think we're just gonna we're gonna peel through here and see because uh What don't you have for spices? Oh man. Did I got a lot, I, I, I lost a lot of cooking stuff too because I literally was just filming with Bart to do a cooking oh, episode man. and literally all that stuff's gone too. So I didn't know you lost cooking. Well, let's, let's look into spices. It's overwhelming how much stuff is here. I'm not gonna lie. Should we go, what's next? Should we look in the, the houseware for some things? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right, current time check. <laughs> After nine o'clock. <laughs> After nine o'clock, they close at nine. <laughs> it's like 9.07 right They're now. They've been super nice about it though, so we're, we're bailing. Yeah, we're bailing. They've been super nice. Right, Keep right, them not kicking us out. We're taking the elevator down because we got a cart. I don't think this is your whole gift card worth of stuff, but that's a good start. So you can come in here and get Dude, the rest later. Unbelievable, yeah, great. I mean, think about trying to go and get everything you ever thought you had. And just like in 20 minutes, okay? In 20 minutes. It's a, it's a, it's a, the store closes in an hour. Yeah. Go. Yeah. We saw fish tanks, we saw mounts, 
We picked up a lot of gear. We didn't get kicked out of the store even though we're in here kind of past hours. Can't we sell the coffee? Self checkout, sweet. Everyone's so nice here. All the employees are really nice. I bought one item and I took up the register. <laughs> Ryan has a million and I made him go to self-checkout. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Bye Shields. Thank you for helping my boy. Get on you guys feet. are the best. That was unbelievable. We did so good. And uh, seriously, I can't thank you guys enough for helping me get back on my feet that way and uh, get a bunch of new gear. So thank you guys so much and thank you, Sam. All right, let's go get some dinner. Let's do it. To find a way to move ahead, move ahead. Oh my pretty baby